Hi, I'm Allie Cook for Dentistry Today, coming to you once again from the CDA meeting in Anaheim, California. I'm here at the Plan Mecca booth with Mr. Joseph Kelly, who is a sales representative. Joseph, it's nice to meet you. You also. And what are you here to tell us about today? We're going to talk a little bit about Alera today, which is a principle that basically describes, well, it's an acronym. It stands for as low as reasonably achievable. And basically the principle is we want to limit the exposure to the patient in every way, shape, or form. Whatever the doctor's clinical need is, we have an image or some sort of a setting where we can appropriately expose the patient. What are some of the features of this machine that can help lower radiation, radiation dosage? Excellent question. First of all, on the tube head side, we have a four-bladed collimator. So basically what a collimator is, it's like a window shutter. And we can actually limit the amount of radiation coming out of the front of the tube head. We collimate both on the horizontal plane as well as the vertical plane. So on a child image, for instance, what we do is we shorten our exposure time by two seconds. So the machine starts exposing a second or a second later than it normally does. It finishes a second early. We also collimate the height down because obviously we don't need as much of an image as we do for a child like we do for an adult. Another thing that we do really well, same thing, same sort of principles with the collimators is on the 3D side of things. The machine will take several different 3D volume sizes, whether you need the whole oral cavity, whether you need two and a half or three teeth on one arch, whether you only need one arch rather than both arches. We have the ability to actually get the appropriate image, again, for whatever the doctor's clinical need is. We also have three different resolutions we can capture at. Each resolution represents a different exposure value. So higher resolution for really fine detail, like a horizontal fracture on a tooth, or lower radiation, lower resolution for just gross anatomy. You just want bone height, bone width. All of these things can be dialed in right before you take the image. So we can specify it to any particular patient need. Correct, or, or any clinical need, right? Doctor has a clinical, different clinical need for every patient that comes up to the machine. We like to think that we have that image for whatever that clinical need is. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for this good information. And as always, for more information on happenings at the CDA in Anaheim, you can keep it right here at DentistryToday.com.